Daphne Goodship and Barbara Herbert are identical twins, but they did not meet until they were 35 years old. They were separated shortly after they were born and brought up by adoptive parents in very different environments. Barbara's adopted father was a gardener, and Daphne's was a scientist. I didn't really suspect there was a twin, but my grandma had told me when I was about 11 that I had a double, but I knew then that I was adopted. We met on King's Cross Station. Thing was, the train was uh, 125, which was a very long train, and I opened the door, and standing right there was Barbara. It was like meeting an old friend. Yeah, it wasn't difficult at all. It's like as if we'd always known each other. The similarity was uh, we discovered that we both had a miscarriage. And then it was followed by two boys and a girl in that order. And our second sons were born within um, three weeks of one another. So that was rather strange. Um, of course, our crooked fingers, that was one of the first things we ever said to each other. Look, they're sweet. They're really crooked. And I remember when I was at school, I, I could do that, and I thought, that is so original. <laughs> That's one of the first things we said, walking down King's Cross Station. Twins separated at birth are very rare. Researchers are keen to study them to compare the effects of nature and nurture on their development. I think a lot of the discoveries were medical to start with. Uh, well, we both had a heart murmur. Um, thyroid, they discovered. Yeah, underactive thyroid. Uh, our IQ, we were within about one point of one another, which we thought was odd because we grew up different schools. You're tested separately. So you go in and the researcher says, write a sentence. You think, oh my gosh, what can I write? Just a short sentence. So I thought, I know the cat sat on the mat. So I ended up writing, because I was trying to do it quick, the cat sat on the mat next day. I'd write, the cat sat on the mat. But there it goes, I wrote, the cat sat on the mat. Daphne and Barbara are so similar because they are clones. Two people who have exactly the same genetic makeup. When their mother was pregnant, her fertilized eggs split into two, creating two identical cells that grew into Daphne and Barbara. Identical twins are not the only clones in nature. Many living things like strawberries and aphids reproduce asexually without a partner. The offspring are genetically identical to the parents. Scientists can now clone animals. The first ever cloned animal was produced in Edinburgh. It was a now famous sheep called Dolly. In order to clone an animal, scientists use a technique called somatic cell nuclear transfer. This involves replacing the nucleus of one egg cell with the nucleus from any other somatic cell. This could be from any part of the body as long as that cell has a nucleus. Just like Daphne and Barbara, the embryos here are genetically identical to one another. They are clones. <laughs> 